Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at how to organize brushes into groups, into sort of folders inside Photoshop for better management. So there are a couple of ways that you can access brushes and brush tools in Photoshop. So I have the brush tool selected here and up here on the control panel is this option to open this brush dialog. Now that's essentially the same as this dialog over here. Most of the same things are on these two dialogs. And then you have the brush settings dialog, which you can get to by clicking this icon here and it opens up the brush settings panel. The brush settings panel is where there are all these features for specifying the settings for the brush that you're going to use. What I want to do is look at this brushes panel for today because what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder for our brushes. Now these are all brushes that are not in a folder. They're just brushes that I've been creating. So if I want to add a brush folder for them, then I'm going to click on this little folder icon here and give it a name. Let's just call them Helen's Color Brushes so that we know they're mine. So I'll just click OK. Now I can just pick up a brush and drag and drop it into this group. So it's going to appear in the group and when I close up the group they're going to disappear. So that's just confirming that these brushes are going into this group. So nice way of organizing things. Now you can also save your brushes to disk. So you can click on your actual group, right click and choose to export the brushes. Now you'll be taken to the area on your disk where brush files are to be stored. So I'm just going to call these color brushes. I'm now going to get rid of these. I'm just going to delete this group. Now we can get the group back by appending them. So I'm going to the fly out menu here and here are the color brushes. They're going to appear automatically. The, your brush sets, the ones that are accessible through that folder that you just saved things into, they're all going to be listed here. And you can see that I haven't actually closed and restarted Photoshop in this particular situation. All the most current ones are being read out of that folder as soon as you open that fly out menu. So you don't have to close and read open Photoshop. So I'm just going to click on color brushes. I do want to restore them to the brush presets. I'm just going to click open. Now this is the problem here. What's happened is that Photoshop when you open a brush file makes a folder for that brush file. So we've got folders inside folders. It is pure nuisance value. So let's just go and see how it would be better to have actually saved those brushes. Let's just delete that group. So I've got my Helen's color brushes and these are the brushes. Now what I should do in actual fact is to select all these brushes this way. So click on the first one, shift click on the last and then save those by right clicking and choose to export selected brushes. So this time I'm going to call them Helen's color brushes. But I'm going to spell color a little bit differently because that's going to show up when we actually bring them back in. Let's save those. Let's remove this folder of brushes by just deleting the group. And then let's go and put them back in again. So let's click on this. And here are Helen's color brushes with this different spelling of the word color. I'm going to append these. And now they're coming into a folder or group name that is the name of the file. So we're not getting that sort of cascading list of groups. So just be aware of it. You can actually make a really big mess really, really quickly this way. But you will want to save your brushes. If you've made your own brushes, you will want to save them so that if you have to reset Photoshop, for example, if you're required to reset the preferences because something goes wrong, you would lose all these brushes that haven't been saved to external files. That's the way Photoshop works. These will be here, except if I reset my preferences, I will lose a lot. The other thing is it won't be easy to have those appear in a different version of Photoshop. It's just best to periodically go and back your brushes up to an external file so that you can reload them if you have problems with Photoshop so that you've got them in an external file if necessary. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. 
using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.